Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Fredo Bang. Now, Fredo Bang was on social media and he put out a tweet where I think he was trying to do something positive. You know what I mean? He was actually trying to show love to one of his partners in this rap game. And I'm talking about none other than Lil Durk. So Fredo Bang put out a post or I should say a tweet where he gave some praise to, to Lil Durk and showed kind of his loyalty to him in the game. Now, it is no mystery that Lil Durk and Fredo Bang run together, you know what I mean, as far as the hip-hop game concerned. You know, I'm not saying in the same crew or anything like that, but they do have a hit song together called Top. And Lil Durk and Fredo Bang, you know, they speak highly of each other in interviews, and they've been in each other's videos and all that, right? Because remember, for the Back in Blood video, Fredo Bang was there in Chicago with Pooh Shiesty, man. So obviously, there's a lot of respect there, right? Well, Fredo Bang putting out that tweet upset a whole bunch of people, man. He literally shook a bee's nest, man. And everybody started coming for his head to the point where he had to respond. And he had even a guy who was claiming 4K Trey or just even saying 4K Trey, you know, leaving him voice messages trying to diss him, man. It was crazy. It was wild, man. And on top of that, you had somebody from the other side in Chicago, and I'm talking about King Yella. And it's no wonder, man, that King Yella and Lil Durk or it, you know, they don't see eye to eye. We'll say that much, man. You know, they come from different sides. We ain't going to get into specifics, right? But King Yella addressed the whole situation, which really shook it up on social media and has every, everything going viral, including that tweet. Now, before we play all these clips and talk about everything that went down, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about this Fredo Bang tweet that made everybody upset. So let's look at this right here, man. So Fredo Bang went to Twitter and he posted this. It says, if at Little Dirk say you, I feel the same way. With a whole bunch of gorilla emojis. You know, two gorilla emojis after that. And basically in this, he's saying, if Lil Dirk don't rock with you, I don't rock with you. If he say forget you, I say forget you. You know what I mean? And that's the clean version of what he's saying here. You know what I mean? Now, when he said this, most of the day, most people didn't say anything back. You know, it was kind of chill. But recently, man, everybody started to react to this tweet. And one person in particular that reacted was King Yellen. Now, King Yella put out this post right here. Now, King Yella was clearly upset, and he responded by saying this. He said, y'all dudes ride whoever hot at the time. At Chief Keith Sosa, got on anybody who was with him, y'all thought was hard. At Little Dirt, get on, y'all think all his trash homeboys is hard. Then last, King Von pop out, y'all think all them dudes from O Block is hard. Laughing emojis, man. Boy, for real. Then all these out-of-town cats clout chasing dirt. Y'all want fame so bad with the with the hand over the face emoji, the face palm emoji. I know y'all would do something strange for a record deal with the laughing emoji. And this had a lot of people cracking up. And a lot of people attributed this to a response to what Fredo Banks say. Because, you know, Fredo Banks said, if you ain't rocking with Lil Dirk or if he ain't rocking with you, I'm not rocking with you. And obviously... King Yella and them are not rocking with Lil Durk at all, man. So they might have took offense to that, and this was his response. But he wasn't done there. And before he could respond a second time, Fredo Bang put out a video just to address all the backlash he had been receiving. Hey, y'all do all that talking about that. And now one of you twerking, booty shaking ass don't do me anything. Now, I'm not 100% sure who Fredo Bang was responding to there because he said, y'all twerking, so maybe it's a dancing rapper that says something to him or something like that. I'm not sure, man. It was a lot of people saying things about this issue and a lot of people responding to it, even though it shouldn't have been an issue. It should have been something as simple as Fredo Bang showing some love to Lil Dirk because they rock with each other, right? But, you know, it started to get blown out of proportion. To the point, so, that Fredo Bang posted several stories and one including somebody dissing him saying they you know talking about 4k Trey and all this man and he posted it in his story and it's up there now but the dude uses so much you know he uses language that isn't youtube friendly so i couldn't even post it if i tried right now fredo bang wasn't done there he also posted this just to show that he wasn't clout chasing that you know he was legitimate in his sentiment right and that it's not the very first time that he's ever posted a rapper that he was rocking with so he posted this now as you can see in this tweet Fredo Bang was putting out a tweet where he showed 
all his old tweets where he shouted out other rappers. Because you can see the very first one, it looks like Lil Baby. He told him, you know, he cleared a verse for him. So he gave him a lot of props. Then here's another one where he shouted out uh, Mozzie. So he let Mozzie know that he showed him, you know, some love or whatnot. And that he's a dope person, even though they never met. Then you see Polo G. He said Polo G was solid. And it looks like he sent out all of these tweets at the same time, including the Lil Dirt tweet. So just letting it be known that he wasn't clout chasing Lil Dirt, that he was showing love to a whole bunch of different artists that he rocked with. You even see, he said, I watched Pooh Shiesty and Big 30 get it out the mud and get rich. So he shouted out Pooh Shiesty and Big 30. Then finally, you see Rob Fortnite, who's a new artist out of New Orleans, and he's saying that he's next up. So this was Fredo Bang's way of trying to clear that thing up and let it be known that, yo, man, I'm just showing love to the cats that I rock with in the industry. This ain't no cloud chasing move or nothing like that, man. But it seems like a lot of people took it the wrong way. And Ness kind of killed that, right? Because he's got proof there that he wasn't just singling out Lil Durk and just saying that one thing to him. He was giving props to everybody. Now, King Yella also responded to people online and their backlash to him with a video. And in this video, he goes off a bit, man. And he talks about a lot of other artists. He doesn't name people specifically when he starts dissing. But you can kind of get an idea of who he's talking about in the post. So let's look at the video. Look, let's keep this gangster. On GLD, I ain't never said I'm the hardest on earth, the hardest rap. On GLD, is hella that's better than me. But I know I got potential and I know I know how to make music. But what I'm saying is this. They talking about why you ain't say nothing. Chase young boy, his homies, whoever. That's just because what I'm saying is these main rappers chasing they homies to, to get close to these. It's trash. You Von, Dirt, Keith, any that come from old block, then y'all want to get down on the GDs. Stop playing. We've been doing this for years. My mama really doing this though. It's really trash though. Y'all said somebody said a shooter, a gangster, or something, uh, say they name, clout them up. Be trash. Let's keep hunting. And you blogs and from out of town. You get in politics, but y'all get mad when we say name and shit. all you niggas. That's how I feel. Ain't no clout chasing or nothing on game. This trash. Y'all support it. Oh, fire. That should be weak as hell. Let's keep this gas. Now, in that video, King Yeller said several things, man. He was talking about out of towners and bloggers and people like that. Clout chasing people who really don't have good music, their music's trash, but they're around the right people in the industry. And that's always been the rap game. Let's be real, man. Every time a rapper used to get signed, even back in the day, let's say like Jeezy, T.I., Gucci, everybody around them would get attention. It's just a part of the rap game. You know, it's like, that's just how it goes. And usually those people get signed. Sometimes those people who start off as the smaller artists end up becoming the bigger artists. It happens all the time, man. But that's just, you know, it shows interest. Once fans clue in on you and you got features on your album and you're one of the hottest artists in the game, let's use Lil Durk for an example. Like, this is his fourth week, right? And his album is doing amazing, man. It's still showing strong numbers and stuff like that. So, you know, people are going to wonder the features. People are going to wonder who he's rocking with. People are going to wonder, like, who, who else around here we can get some good music from. And I think King Yellow is mis mistaking that for clout chasing. But who knows, man? What do you guys think about this whole situation? Do you think that King Yellow has a point? Do you think that as soon as a rapper just blows up crazy like King Von, like Lil Durk, like Chief Keef did back in the day and stuff like that, that other rappers gravitate to him and other and people start to gravitate to him and try to make him and blow up their crew just as much? You know what I'm saying? Pause. But, or is that just a natural progression in the rap game? Something that we always see take place. Now with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell. So that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.